Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to Dune Spice Wars. Today we're going to be playing a PvP match, and we are going to be playing as Ye Old Emperor. So it should be fun. Going to be bringing the Asarda card here to uh, Arrakis, and hopefully it will go a little bit better than the books. So as far as the players, it's going to be Knight of Squires on the Atreides. We have uh, Baylard here on the Fremen, and uh, Steve on Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. Evil schemes going to be afoot for sure. Certainly very, very good players. All right. So, as the old uh, Imperials, we want to find good, good uh, village traits so we can get doubles of those. That's really what you want to be prioritizing. So let's uh, drop this. As far as the tech goes, let's get solid materials and then get the Megapolis to get the water and heal up here a little bit. And let's look at villages. So no crazy traits here. Um, any good traits? Ooh, this is a pretty good trait depending on the water level. Okay, it's not bad. It does give us 100% uh, of the village's water as Solari, which can be insane if it has like a high water value, but... That's pretty much the auto take for the next region anyway, simply because it's a special region of Plaskrete, so we want to get that. So let's go over there and do this. Let's get one more Ornithopter and get a single Militia in here to make sure it doesn't get taken by Rebels. And uh, let's go, man. Let's have some fun. All right, so you want to make sure to tag both of the range units, because when you tag them in melee, you can see it applies pinned down. They can't use their ranged attacks, and their melee attacks are quite pitiful. So typically, you want to do that if you can. All right, so we got some Plaskrete over here. Um, the Authority might be good, and we are using the counts. So as far as our special advisors go, let me just break it down. We have Wensico, which is the one that lets you build double buildings in each village. And then we have Hasimir Fenring. He's great. He lets you investigate these little sites on the map from any distance. And you can start right away as well, which is great. His other thing of developing economic investments is, I don't think it's that good, but it can be fun for sure. Um, depends on the circumstances for sure. All right, so that looks good. So next up, we're gonna get the Megapolis and then we will do absolute, now nah, do we wanna do absolute power? I don't think anybody in here is gonna be taking my uh, <laughs> my treaties, right? I mean, I could try. Yeah, I guess we could skip this and go to absolute power and see if we can get lucky. I mean, if somebody takes the early non-aggression pact, it just gives me a huge bonus because I'll start, start generating um, lands rad, which is, which is huge. Okay. So all's calm. Um, next up, we probably take this region just because it has the research center and we can go double research center and get a good knowledge boost. Currently, we need to save up a little bit, so we're gonna do some raiding. Um, this village, yeah, you don't wanna raid the villages like right next to you when you're playing these bad boys. Let's get another conscript and uh, looks like this is all set here. So we're just gonna get the Plascrete there and this is out. So let's go looking and exploring. Some good regions nearby. This one is a, uh, yeah, it's, it's just no no water consumption in that region. So we're going to go start raiding a little bit further away. What do we have here? This is a special region which will be discovered soon. So let's get all that research there by that ornithopter. And the Plastery building should be finishing here in just a moment. All right. All's good in the neighborhood, man. So recruitment office. We don't really need to rush recruitment offices at this point. Uh, you know, unless we get aggressed on, which depends on who our neighbor is. Harkonnens can get pretty aggressive, and so too can the Fremen, depending on the circumstances. So, But with these guys, you really want to be looking, when you have um, Hasimir, you really want to be looking for all of the little agent bags on the map and grab the best ones that you possibly can. Once we get our fourth character here, ooh, another spice field. Okay, that's pretty big. Um, but yeah, we want the research center next. All right, so this character is going to be out in a moment. Uh, we have fuel cells here, which is also very important. And this region here is a... Just building upkeep, which isn't terrible. You can build like your special buildings there, like your airfields and stuff, and that's fine. And then we have data center down there. So it's probably gonna be a long time before we get that region. So we're just gonna waddle down here and, and hit this one. All right, let's sell a little bit more spice and our plastic building is finished. So let's go ahead and pop, lock and drop it here, get that going and good. So we're, yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna take our non-aggression offerings. Maybe a trades cause they like to play politics. Um, I Steve is very very good. He's like he's a very strong player, so I don't think he's gonna take it. Um, and yeah, the Baron. I don't know if the Baron would want it anyway. So all right, let's go here and here. Target the right units. Looks good. Grab one of these bad boys. Make sure to tag that, and we have finished. All right, so it's finished here. Let's look around, see if there's any other ones. And it looks like there's one over here, which is just gonna give us free military uh, developments. Which hey, it's not bad. I'll take it. So a little bit of micro here. Move you. Tag this guy so our shooting unit can keep shooting and looks fine. All right, so the second Plascrete's coming in that village. Let's go ahead and get a, another heavy militia, and by the time we're done here, we should be able to go and grab this uh, this region. Yeah, should be good. We haven't discovered any foes yet. So, oh, Fremen are near us. We see one of their scouts, so we're gonna pillage this, but we're only gonna do it once because we need that region for later. A lot of special regions near us, which is really good for us. Uh, obviously, we're probably gonna go for a hedge victory and try that. That's usually how I like to play these guys, is just kinda 
you go under the radar and you know then you just get a sweet hedge victory so filtration systems is a must we're gonna need water or else we're just gonna kind of be a potato although maybe with these guys since we have the um the trait nah i don't know i think we still need it all right let's pull back heal up a little bit and then we'll just go grab this base at 64. Uh, we have a deep desert and yeah the fuel cells here are 130 so a lot of authority to get that going all right so we are back in business selling spice everything's looking fine so far um don't need to build too much here just gonna hang tight i could always just build this yeah the slurry markets and stuff and just get that jamming might as well for now uh we could always delete them later yeah it's only 43 plastic we have a big surplus so you have to be very cautious with how you build your buildings when you're playing uh the old uh, karina the emperor you don't want to spam out too many buildings early because of the uh the you know the costs and you need to build two to make sure to be in the right territory uh not pay too much uh diplomatic congress is uh, perfect so we're going to vote ourselves for that that's going to force everybody into a non-aggression with us which is going to really really benefit our lands rad standing and all that so um I'm, I'm dumping all my votes into that that's really really um quite opportune actually all right so this is going to be ours we got sp two spice fields is good enough for carino you can usually get away with that all right so somebody might try and take this the atreides could outvote me on that i'd be surprised uh, would they want that yeah i guess they would i certainly certainly think they would all right let's take that authority there and um as far as this this one's at 77 percent, and we have another one in the desert which will give us an economic investment good good everything's looking fine and uh what tech do we want to go do we want to go politics early in the main base getting the emperor's monument early isn't bad but that can kind of push you ahead on hegemony which makes everybody perceive you as the big threat so you see how it's like a double-edged blade to jump out in front because it's it's much like in commander if you guys have ever played uh you know edh uh commander whatever you know whatever the kids are calling it these days uh you don't want to jump out and be the big villain of, of the table like immediately if you do that you know you can you can pay the troll toll pretty damn hard so next up we save for that other spice field try and grab that and uh we really just got to hope the harkonnens aren't near us either yeah, they're on the south. Okay, that's good. So taking a look at the big map. Okay, I'm seeing Harkonnens and Fremen. So we just kind of like, yeah, we have a nice little defensive position and we're already right up in the middle of the map, which is which is kind of funky too. All right, let's get that. Um, so we could do a little bit of raiding in the middle. Um, yeah, let's go raid that. Uh, these are like territories I'm going to want to take. That's a pretty good one to raid, but do I have the water supply to get there is the question. All right, so main base building. Uh, do we want to go for spice? We're only going to have two spice fields most likely. So let's just go ahead and get the uh, basic eco buildings and go for like a more Solari based economy. All right, filtration systems coming up. So soon we'll have water. Our knowledge is going to be bumping in a moment. And diplomatic status. We got it. Perfect. Perfect. So I got it. So you'll see now uh, I'm going to be getting 25 lands rad standing in the next council because I'm basically allied with everybody. So that's really, really uh, convenient. And they have to pay a fair amount of resources to actually break that off with me. It's not easy breaking up with the Emperor now. You know, he makes it hard. He's, he's, he gets dramatic. He causes havoc. Um, yeah, we can we can go raid the middle. I think that's fine. Let's give it a try. All right, so that's finished. Let's get another one of these. And we can grab that economic investment. Now let's go look around the map. We have another one in the desert. The free tech is what it's all about. Like, we probably already... See, we already have a military tech finished. We integrated costs, which is another staple of our faction. is almost finished, too. So that's um that's outstanding we'll get water here we have the hire them to spread propaganda but i want to save it for another main building so far our start's been very good i don't know if we're going to be able to do this quickly yeah probably we're going to raid that so nobody else can take it we'll see if it's worth maybe my army will just die out here in the deep desert or in the uh at the polar ice cap here hopefully not but you do get supplies when you pillage buildings so yeah it will buy us a little bit of a uh, momentum there all right, so this is going to give us Slary, and then after this we get integrated costs, which is going to... Uh, what this one does is you get money for every nearby village, and major buildings cost are cheaper, essentially. So it's pretty useful. Um, Chome, you always want to buy the first Chome share as Carino, uh, because it puts you above the 10% threshold, which gives you uh, free influence, which is very, very nice. All right, so let's pillage that. <laughs> Someone, Someone's going to be like, look, Turin's already going for the middle. Get him. Yeah, Harkonnens don't have any super easy ways to get to us. Um, we do have the deep desert. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, I guess they could just come right here. So I suppose they could if they really wanted to. All right. So good raid right there. Good money for us. Um, let's head back. Main base building is about to finish. And uh, the filtration system should be finishing soon. We have the double knowledge building. What else do we want to get up here? Any village traits that are good? Economy buildings and cheaper buildings, which means we can build our major buildings up there. And that's going to be pretty good. 
how the elected faction gets this. Um, let's switch this to every faction gets that, which will pretty much guarantee that we get it if it passes, um, which is really nice. All right, so Intel is cute, but we want to focus on tech advantage. Is there anything else we can grab here? Uh, revealing a siege isn't a bad idea. You know, if we have one uh, in our territory, that's going to be effective for sure. And the spice fields should be about ready to be grabbed, 129. So yeah, we should be right up in the ballpark of getting that. So let's go ahead and get another um, rifleman. We want to have a decent standing army in case someone tries to aggress us early. And then let's go ahead and get the mason guild. That gives us uh, 10, 10 gold in each finished village and also uh, plast group production. So, All right, about to get filtration systems and we can go double water. Um, for sure, want to go water in this region because of the trait, the water traders. So we will start on that in just a moment. Um, all is calm here and it is done. All right, great. So let's start getting the water. You can see why like with Carino, you want to be kind of conservative with how you spend your uh, resources early on. You don't want to just be spamming buildings. You want to make sure that like each building like has a very defined purpose and is good. Uh, we'll get our manpower buildings up here. I believe there was a cheaper one. No, that was a separate region. Okay. Let's grab this. Um, honestly, there's nothing I really care about here, so yeah, I'm I'm relaxing. The one that we wanted to get is uh, going to be pr pretty much guaranteed to us by the fact that we put our uh, edict on it. All right, so let's take that spice field. That's going to be our second spice field. Not grabbing any special regions. I don't want to jump ahead too far in hegemony. All right, siege so revealed, and ooh, that's a what does this one have? All building upkeep of the faction is reduced by twenty percent. That's pretty good. So we'll start trading with them. It's probably worth it. <clears throat> it's a very, very nice trait. Yes. And uh, it's a region that we're already planning on taking. So, you know, why why the hell not, right? It's, uh, it's a pretty good spot. <clears throat> Fremen nearby. It is going to be Baylard. Scary, scary. So with you, let's get this agent. You can go ahead and get assigned to the Spacing Guild for now. We could do the Chome too, but Spacing Guild, get a little bit of manpower. Doesn't hurt. What is the upkeep on these 16 and 16? So yeah, they're being paid for by themselves because of the special region, the abandoned research station. A little bit of a raiding action coming. I would like to get some more militia in these villages. You never know when the Fremen could emerge from the shadows and just cackle at you. All right, outstanding. So we got this. Let's go ahead and get a spice refinery here, throw a militia right there. And do we see any aggression? We do not at the moment. Okay. Uh, anything we want here? Yeah, this one, we want to put some votes into that and uh, we'll just do 10. And let's go ahead and decline this because that's just going to tank our upkeep. Perfect. That one makes you have to pay like the troll toll for every military unit you have, basically. All right, so water and let's get another water in this region. So we're coming up in the world. We're sitting on eight plus authority. And now we've finished that. So let's go ahead and get the um, Imperial Researchers is cute. Spying Logistics is good. This is the one that gives you double village trade. So we'll get this and then we'll get Spying Logistics. I suspect that somebody's going to try and assassinate us at some point. It usually happens with the Emperor, but he's one of the hardest ones to assassinate. He has that, um, I guess we're just going to reveal another siege. I'm not seeing any super good text lying around. Let's grab that, get the Plascrete. And uh, yeah, we got this nice region, so that's going to be giving us plus 30 Solari production. And uh, we can get the military, or do we want to go full statecraft here? It's not a bad idea. We could go statecraft in the other one too, though. Manpower, we could plop down here wouldn't be terrible either. Knowledge and hegemony gains. Um, Landsrad standing. Going political victory against Atreides is tough. There's a reason why the Padishah Emperor in the books wanted to take down Duke Leto. There's certainly some realities to that. Okay, Plascrete factory limit. That's pretty good. Uh, and they produce more. Okay, let's do this. And which one had our manpower? Yes, it was this, it was this region here. So manpower buildings tank your eco pretty hard. You got to really, really have a solid economy to kind of go for them. Okay, so we actually have another research tech in that region. Good, we're at 78 authority. Wouldn't be a bad time to grab a special like fuel cell region or something. Let's see which one's better. Obviously this one because it's... Um, and we can drop down a second base soon. I think we need to be at 5k hedge for that. Okay, so we need to kind of keep tabs on that and make sure we uh, we do that eventually. Uh, no more spice fields near us. Um, we could grab one of the neighboring regions here. Wouldn't be bad. So the upkeep hit and the information levels. All right, nothing there with the Harkonnen schemes. Nothing there that's worth doing. That's going, we got the water here. So that region's looking pretty good. Um, do we want to get the recruitment offices? Yeah, now wouldn't be a bad time to just slap two of them down here. 
All right, so let's recruit that, take this. We've revealed another siege. That's the one we're trading with. And here's one back here, which is gonna give us plus four knowledge, which is really good. So we wanna start trading. Plus it's already in a region that we own. So why the hell not, right? That's uh, that's that's prime time. 160 here, uh, Harkonnens are flying around. Let's see who else is playing Chom. Yeah, Harkonnens are playing Chom. That's pretty standard. So we should play Chom too to make it harder for them to do it. Uh, this region gives us research hub efficiency, which is pretty damn good actually. Ooh, and income per uh, eco building, which isn't a bad trait and it has good water value too. Plus it's a hard one to take. So let's actually buy that. Um, it's a thousand gold and that's gonna let us just take this and get the knowledge like right off the bat, which is really nice. All right, Plascrete here. Our economy is gonna start tanking a little bit, um, as is expected. This region's nice. It's the Acid Lakes. It's one of the harder regions in the game to take because it damages nearby um, nearby units that are sitting there. 10% per day. So, you know, if you're trying to take it from Carino, for example. Uh, man, Harkonnens are, yeah, are they buying? Yeah, they just bought up 6%, putting me down a little bit, actually. And uh, there is another spice field this way. I feel as if I should grab the fuel cell region first, but I really want to get that knowledge tech. That's uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. All right, let's just get the income ones there. Looks good, and now we can build in the main base if we want to. Um, yeah, the Emperor's Monument, do we want it here in this region? All district bonuses of his Imperial base are doubled, so that's going to give us extra Solari too, which isn't bad. And hegemony per day. Yeah, we can get started on that. Creep up. Oh, man, there's tough choices. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. Okay, perfect. So anything we want to do here? Um... We're going to do this so every faction suffers that. So then we can't be trolled and just like, you know, give them the business there. All right, let's get the research hub. And let's go ahead and get the manpower building. Water's a little bit tight, but it should be solved in a minute. Um, we have our water here. So the reason why we're doing the uh, landmark here, the Emperor's Monument, is because it's going to give us two traits of the administrative complex, which will reduce the research time for spying technology by 40%, which is pretty nuts. So... That's what we want to do. All right, so we have some knowledge there. Um, we could snipe this. Hell yeah. Nice. We just sniped another authority one, and we'll get that too. That's why that character is so good. Hasimir, he's just like beast mode, because you can just go snipe all those. Um, we are at 5k head, so we need to save up for our second base now. Now, the question is, where do I go with it? Um, we want it to be somewhere safe. Um, the Harkonnens are incredibly good at killing main bases. One of the best, in my opinion, with combat drugs and some of the other treachery they can do. They can definitely be a problem. Okay, looks like our Conans are lurking near our border, and they're taking that spice field. It's a little bit scary. I'm going to be playing just turbo defensively here. Um, we could buy some spice. How are the rates? The rates are not very good. Um, so we can stockpile a little bit more. We're just going to chill here. And cool. So the election's going to be popping up here in a second. And we'll get another knowledge building here. Let's get another heavy militia. Wouldn't be surprised to see some Harkonnen pressure. Um, I think our other main base is going to go right here. It's not too overextended, and there's three special regions right next to it. So we just need to save up to um, a fair amount of uh, fair amount of dough right here to get that. All right, so let's go do some pillaging. Um, where do we want to pillage is the question. We can apply manpower here to our Spice Harvester. Um, reveal a siege. So let's just go grab that, and you can grab this, and then you can grab this. All right, might need to set up missile turrets here already. A little bit scary for sure. All right, so we got that, outstanding. So next up, let's get some um, Imperial researchers. That's gonna give us like two or three extra knowledge based on what I'm seeing right now. Siege is raiding. Might need to send some troopers over and it looks like we have you. And once this finishes, we're gonna go actually and um, get the Emperor's eyes. To make sure we don't get, you know, any shenanigans or people spying on us and building up assassinations. Harkonnens are very good at assassinating, too. They're very, very good at it. All right, we're at 1,500. Life is good here. Um, let's go help Homeboy out. See if we can salvage that region without losing it. And now we got the votes. Um, statecraft speed is really good for us. So we're going to vote that. And this is from a descent, so, yeah, we don't want that. That would actually would have been okay for us, considering our spice economy kind of sucks. You know, it wouldn't have been too big of a deal. Oh man, it's so greedy to go this hard into these. Um, I'm gonna save up for a second base here. Let's take the Plascrete, let's do this, go here. No, we don't wanna attack the, the <laughs> we don't wanna incur the wrath of the Fremen. Even the NPC Fremen, you know. I've been reading the Dune books lately and it gives you a good look into how truly terrifying the Fremen warriors are. Uh, oh, oh, he didn't kill that guy? What the hell? Okay, let's 
go over there and do that. Should be okay. Um, setting on a decent amount of money. Going to be dropping the second base down. Oh man, we even have a, a legendary spice field over here. That's 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 pretty that's pretty hot. That's very good. All right, let's get the heavy militia here. We got wind traps coming. Um, as far as this goes, we get some uh, knowledge out there, and let's look around and see if there's anything else we can grab. That would be good. Um, down in his base, siege reveal and technology. Perfect, perfect. That's what we want. All right, so sitting at 160. Um, let's get the fuel cells now. This fuel cell is very forward though. Like it's right on Fremen, the Fremen's door. So maybe we just take the safe one back behind our base and not like antagonize them. Cause if we take that, it's just, it's going to be worm in time. And Fremen early aggression can definitely put a lot of hurt on uh, Carino. So you got to watch out for that. All right. We're going to grab more water there. Grab more water here. Almost have enough for the main base deployment. Imperial researchers will give us plus two knowledge right now because we have two completed districts in our region. And then, um, yeah, we want to vote for the statecraft, the diplomatic business there. All right, let's get you guys back and you back. Cool. So they're all shooting now and let's get water here as well. What is the special region? Yeah, money per economic building, not bad at all. No super overpowered village traits. We got some good ones. Nothing like that's just going to be like busted unless I'm missing it. You know, it's a little bit late, I suppose. <laughs> a little bit tired, but you know, hopefully I'm not missing too much. All right, so let's start selling a little bit more spice. And now we have the diplomatic. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be like blazing through these texts right now, like absolutely ripping through them. So we're going to get Emperor's Eyes and then Spying Mastery. We're just going to like nail all those. And once we get above 10K hedge, we're going to be getting access to uh, the uh, Kronos, our big mothership. That's good. We have another one up here. Let's grab that. You can see we're getting free eco techs. That's almost done. And diplomatic spying is done, so we can put agents on other factions and get a multitude of benefits. Okay, how are we looking here? Do we have the spice silo yet? I don't believe we do. Missile turrets might be warranted on this region for now. Um, we are not taking that one. We do have our back region. This is going to put us ahead on hedge to the point where it's a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Um, let's go ahead and get heavy militia back here. People are going to start noticing, is what I'm saying. Oof, I, I should slow down in the special regions. Getting a little bit too excited. All right. So let's get that. Let's get the water back here. So we should be okay on water. Do we want Sardaukar yet? No, not at this point. Um, I don't think the Harkonnen care too much about us at this point. I think they're just kind of playing the eco game, which is smart. That's what Harkonnens do. Our second main base is almost ready to be dropped. We just need a little bit more money. So I think let's go raid. Let's just come up here and attack this. And that will uh, give us enough to get the next main base. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of hedge per day. Um, thankfully, Atreides is kind of keeping up with this. So it's not making us, we're not standing out too hard here. Okay, Emperor's Eyes, what that does is it gives us agents. So now we get three free agents that are really, really good at capturing enemy agents. Really, really good. So that is the game plan. All right. So free tech, let's keep going. We want the free tech, whatever it is, you just take it. Lance Chad standing, or not standing, but Lance Chad is coming up. Um, let's get the supply drop and let's get the decoy thumper in case somebody tries to get crazy on us. Okay, and what's coming up? Water Sellers Union is pretty sweet, but there's no way we win that. Um, the elected faction gains. I'm gonna go for infrastructure control during all this. Atreides might be able to get water sellers. We'll have to find out, but overall, the schemes continue, the big scheming. All right, so this will give us close to enough money to drop our second main base, which is going to go here. Harkonnen are expanding that way now, which is a little bit frightening. Fremen are good at killing main bases too. They can like dive them with worms though. Yeah, Atreides, not so much. Atreides aren't like, you know, going to be the destroyers of worlds when it comes to bases. So, all right, um, not building that. Didn't I build something earlier? No, I was saving for the main base. That's right. All right, so yeah, Fremen Spice here. I'm not going to antagonize the Fremen. We're going to take some uh, notes from uh, the old Duke uh, Leto. You know, it's dangerous. You don't want to piss off the Fremen. The All right, so let's come down here, and now we can drop our main base. Uh, so we're going to drop that bad boy right here. All right. The big, the big ship is here. So now we can grab these regions. This is a really good one. Solari per economy building. We can definitely get a really rich village there. So that's priority number one. 100%. All right, we got the free military tech. Um, we do have the water or the authority uh, tech there, but we're not going to grab it. Let's grab some incinerators, um, maybe just one, and then go ahead and get another trooper. 
We need to have a good standing army so we can fight off like a Fremen incursion if they decide to go for it. Um, anything down here we want to get? Nope, not really. Uh, good special regions though. Those are very, very solid. Don't want to get missile turrets quite yet. This is the next region I want. It's 136. Because this one gives us money per economy building and we can get like the uh, the rare minerals going there and just, just go bananas. Okay, Harkonnen's bouncing around. Don't know what the Atreides are up to. On the other side. Nice simple water there. Delicious. This region, we could max it out. We are making 81 here, but a lot of it goes into paying for the upkeep of those buildings. Which are just pricey as hell. Okay, so down at the bottom, our base is looking at Mighty Fly. I should be raiding more, probably. I don't know, there's not like... The bases I want to raid are ones I want to take, though. That's the issue. Um, we can go down here. It's going to cost 100 to shuttle. So we're going to go pillage these bases, because I know the Harkonnen probably are going to want to take those. So let's grab you guys, shuttle down here. Water Sellers Union, one vote, declining. So we're going to make money by declining this. That's uh, that's nice. <clears throat> That's very, very good. All right, so we basically just absolutely ripped through all these. Let's get that for the fuel cells. Ain't a bad idea. And uh, cool. Is this our whole army? Yes, it is. All right, so let's go pillaging. Let's go hunting here. We're going to hit this region. You finish that. So free military tech is on the way. And now we're getting a little bit cozy with the old Harkonnens, the old Baron. His, his girth is uh, embracing our borders. Chom. We're not playing lands rad too hard this game. Just kind of territory control. It's our main focus, more or less. I'm just going to pillage these territories so the Harkonnens don't get them as easily. Although, they have instilled fear, so if they're the ones doing the pillaging. The reason I'm putting so much into this is because um, you get money, 20 Solari per uh, vote into that. So, that's pretty huge. Alright, so that's been taken care of. Uh, our lands rad standing is as good as anybody else's. We have some militia coming to raid us here, so we need to pillage that. Almost enough here. Almost enough. Um, hopefully the heavy militia will finish before these guys attack. Oh no, they're going to that one, which is good. Okay. All is good. So we took that. Uh, let's go to the special region now. And we can start on the... Um, how do we want to do this? How, let's see. How do we want to politic? We're not going to be saving up a ton of influence. So maybe we just do agent recruit speed. Let's do knowledge here. And we're going to go for the uh, senate envoys. All right, so it looks like our heavy militia were able to deal with that. Good. Could take the spice field. Um, that's a pretty good one. That is a pretty good spice field. Usually I don't expect to get more than two spice fields when I'm playing Carino. Let's see how we're looking on tech. So geothermal uh, condensers is good because it, it gives you uh, resources for your, uh, for your fuel cells. Oh, give us this region, Precious. It's so good. We should probably just hang here. All right, so what passed? Um, declined, so we made a look how much money we made from that. Holy shit, oh my god, that's so crazy. All right, so up here, um, let's go ahead and do the military. Oh, Fremen, okay. Hello, Fremen. Uh, I am very happy I didn't settle that. I'm very, very happy. All right, so they could come at us pretty hard. I think we could fight them off, especially with the worm, and it looks like one of our guys got eaten there. It's unfortunate. All right, so let's go ahead and get the manpower building here. And we get this. Uh, what techs do we want to get? Um, valuable trinkets we don't care about too much. Let's go ahead and grab some military tech real quick. Because people are starting to get close to our borders. Although I don't think anybody is really aggressing against us that much. I think I think we're safe. Maybe let's just finish um, recruitment initiative. Yeah, you know what? We're almost done with all of them anyway, so it's not going to take that long. Would have liked to have gotten this region, but the Fremen did pillage that. So that's, uh, that's, a, that's an unfortunate one there. All right, so heading down here, let's just run down there, grab some of the goodies uh, while we can. Investigating, free tech, um, that is intel. Got one back here, which is military. Very, very good. Okay. Consolidation is a good one as well. Let's get you guys heading down here to the Imperial base. Don't need to really pay for a flyer there. He is back. Let's get some more ornithopters. We can have them watch our... Uh, we never grabbed that one. It's pretty janky. Let's go get that. All right, water up here. And now we can get the special region. I know we had something where it was cheaper, right? Was it here? Yeah, look how cheap our major buildings are in this region. How nice is that? Uh, it's a research station. Oh, yay. It's the wrong one. Um, it's not that it's bad or anything, but we wanted to get the airfield. All right, outstanding. So we're just rich as hell now, which is great. We're 
politically secured. Um, we're being snooped on here on the border, which I certainly am not enjoying. But this is going to be our just unholy income base. All right. So let's get an ornithopter watching and an ornithopter watching the other spice field too. Great. Uh, yeah, nothing too big there. We might be able to get some, have some political success. Let's get the agent recruit speed here, and let's grab that. This is when we can make the big bucks. This 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 one region is just going to turn everything around. Um, let's go with missile turrets here. Start entrenching. You know, it, it's about time that we would get attacked. So I think we need to do that. Ornithopters go scouting. Main base building. Main base building. We got the free military tech. Excellent. Really good. And we're going to have like two fully, fully built out main bases here in no time. The soundtrack for this game is great too. Uh, can we build the spice silo? We have a spot for that. All right. So this is where we get the processing plants. Let's get the militia here to guard and uh, resolve that to get a free, uh, some sort of a free tech there. Authority's doing okay. Let's just go ahead and get that for the free business. Recruitment initiative is there. So right now we have what? Two special, three special regions already. Geez, we're going to be able to just skyrocket ourselves. Let's get the barracks. And uh, yeah, we are just super rich. Let's buy some chum. Harkonnens are going pretty hard, but we can we can compete with them a little bit. He might go for a chum victory. Who knows? Chum is pretty scary, though, because you can just spam out mercenaries, and they're just so effective. All right. Um, do we have the spice silos? So that's going to finish um any other regions we're probably just gonna end up racing them in hedge who else is buying chum yeah fremen are even buying a little bit of chum that's good that's really gonna slow down the harkonnen if the more people are buying the chum the harder it is to you know just really monopolize it uh all right so let's get you out of here um is this region full yet no it's not okay so yeah we're gonna just do that okay we do have spying mastery so our agent recruit speed should be good that processing plant is coming online outstanding um, village traits here looks good. All right, so we have like basic military tech now. I think we're happy with that. Do we want to do this? 50 per assigned agent on Landsrad. And um, let's just go ahead and go down the old, um, yeah, the old like basic spice tech. I think that's going to be fine for increasing our harvester's efficiency because our spice kind of sucks at the moment. Chum prices are down. Uh, do we want to buy? No, oh, man. It's tempting, but we're not that rich. Not yet. We will be soon. Once this village gets fully operational, you know, we're going to be cackling pretty hard. All right. That looks good. We can build. An, can I build two special buildings here? I don't think so. I think you can only build the one, which is too bad. Yeah. Everything's like super cheap there. Okay. So do I have a chance to die of the council? I'm going to just go, go hard in the paint and see if I can get that. I don't have that much influence, but I'm going to see what can be done. All right. So here, that looks good. And um, yes, we will just hang tight and see. We'll save our money for now. All right, so our knowledge is pretty good at 18. It's respectable. Second missile turret here. And um, I would like to get that research building, the research station. So do I have any regions where things are cheaper? Um, here, is it cheaper? That's the water production one, which ain't bad. Throw you on lands, Chad. Let's deploy you. Slap manpower down on this and manpower down on this. Uh, do we want to get... Yeah, we're just saving up for the big man. All in due time. Do we have spice silos? We do. Yeah, so we'll throw down a spice silo here. And we'll get a spice silo right here as well. Cool. So we don't really have good airfield coverage. Um, the Imperial base covers quite a bit. We're at 101 in terms of the goodness. I really want this region so that I can get that. And get that siege to be allied with me. And let's get the command points. Okay. So that's going to give us good military power. That's very, very solid. We're not even investing much in military at this mo at this point. Um, all right, so that's per economy building. So let's go ahead and get some of the uh, the double the village traits investment offices plus one village trait. Yes, good. Outstanding. The siege is now our ally, so we can slap an agent in there. So let's just take it off Landsrad. Uh, I'd rather get the foreknowledge. All right, cool. So we have that siege as our ally. Boom, boom, looking good. Um, this region can be developed more. We have plenty of plascrete, so might as well. Uh, water per, and we can do the investment offices here just to get the money, I suppose. And this region gives us per salary. Um, and yeah, we're eventually just gonna build the hedge buildings there. That's why I'm not worrying about that. All right, so Fremen Rebellions. Uh, that means something passed in the Congress, which the Fremen did not want to pass. 
Atreides ended up crushing us. I should have declined it. Um, I was close to, you know, getting in there, but Atreides is going to be uh, getting it, which is, in a way, somewhat conducive to our strategy because if Tra Atreides look like the biggest threat, then I can just scheme in the shadows. You know, little, little book, little book stuff going on. Can make Sardaukar. Kronos is on the way. Um, that region, we want to leave the two spots open. Let's get this and this. Harvester is back online. And let's buy that authority there. Very nice. Anytime you can find those like authority ones with Carino, it's really useful. It's very useful. Because the further away you are from your bases, the harder it is to do that. To, uh, to buy. You, you take a big penalty is essentially what I'm saying. All right. So investment offices is going to give us a bunch of dough. And now we get this base. I mean, let's just go grab it. It's going to put us up. Shit, we're, oh, we're at such high hedge. It's so bad. It's so bad. That's just going to make us like villain number one. Um, all right. So what do we want to do here? Harvester works. We, we would want to probably get the Chome branch first and foremost. And then the main building here, what could we possibly fit there? I think we kind of screwed up our districts a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It happens, man. It happens. All right. Embassy, we don't really care about. We're not playing for a Landsrad victory. I mean, it could happen, but our Landsrad standing is already very good. So it's like, whatever. We got pretty fortunate by getting the forced alliances early with everyone that now we are relaxing. Okay, so village traits popping up. Uh, we can bank authority too and let someone pass us, which is probably going to be the game plan. I think several people are playing possum here. Although getting that like sacred spice field down there would be money. That would be really good. All right, judge of the council. The elected faction gains. Um, let's do all factions gain that. The chum buying price. And we can then um, slow the roll of the Harkonnen. Yeah, and we'll see if it ends up passing. All right, so we did a little bit of trickery there. Um, as far as this other stuff goes, do we want to think about assassinating ourselves? So let's just go get the special region augments because we might need to just pull the trigger and go for it at some point. All right, so let's get water here for now. So this region C is giving us 89 gold. It's not like amazing, but it's certainly better than nothing. All right, so the military tech is just about done. Um, yeah, we're going to get valuable trinkets and wonders of the desert, which will give us uh, make it easier for us to annex these special regions. I feel like other people are playing possum too, like being very relaxed and not not like. On duty. Yeah, Received. I feel like we're not the only ones doing that. Because we're about to jump up pretty hard, unfortunately. I could take one of these crappy bases near me, just like one of the small ones, to just kind of chill out a little bit. What water and plascrete per economy building. Uh, yeah, nothing that amazing, really. I mean, eventually we do want to take them, so. Yeah, but saving for the special regions, although I believe this tech that we're getting makes it no penalty authority to cost, yeah, the special regions, that's right. So that could be way better. Okay, main bases weren't designed super well. <laughs> I admit this. Our economy is okay. It's not, not top tier or anything. Harkonnen there have a weird base layout. Atreides and the Fremen, no conflict yet. Let's go look around for techs that we want to get. Yeah, we're currently doing one right now. Okay, we just finished that military. Um, you already have another agent investigating. Okay. This fuel cell region is so good, though. It's going to make us so much money. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. Why are they not advancing in hedge? None of these guys are, like, making any sort of a move on the hedge game. Normally, Fremen are, like, going bananas. That's, that's what's perplexing me a little bit. Like, I'm waiting for them to kind of pop off a little bit before I get too crunk, you know? So, do we have any triple ones we could build in this region? We could rebuild the Emperor's Monument here. And we could have, re like, restructured that, but I think at this point we just bite the bullet and go for it. Um, let's do the Chome Branch right there. Okay, cool. That's going to give us better spice exchange rates, which I have not really been paying attention to this game, admittedly. All right, I think I pulled the trigger. Uh, Harks at 22k, by the way. 22 Chome. Yeah, so this is when we have to engage in political political trolling. Um, Judge of the Council is for Landsrad. Let's support this. I don't want anybody to be buying shares anymore. We need we need the the shares to chill chill out a little. You know they're getting too crazy. Okay. Um, let's delete the spice harvest, the spice thing, and build a special building here. 
Um, research station is cool. We can slap that down. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully our little, you know, subterfuge will work. All right, so clearing this out, we're gonna take this special region. The fremen, the fremen might come and try and stop me here. We're gonna th slap a, a thumper down because clearly they want some. But we want this. Uh, we want this region. Yeah, the fremen looks like they were setting up for that right now. Anything we want to do here? Yeah, we can. Ah, oh, I just spent my influence. Damn. Oh well, that was a that was a mistake. Sometimes I just like click those. Just get excited, even though it's not like a good deal. Okay, so the Fremen we've kept trapped there, but I feel like they're going to come for me. <laughs> he says, just a joke, man. I wanted to pillage, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, because he had the Fremen sabotage there. So I need to get some Sardaukar out and start getting military upgrades for those bad boys. All right, so let's get um, missile turrets first and foremost. Make sure we can hold on to the region and we'll get back. And obviously an airfield there as well. Knowledge building is coming. Fuel cells. Um, Kronos is... Okay, we can make Kronos now, which is huge. Did it pass the thing with the Harks? Yeah, we want the, the shares to just be egregiously price, pricey so nobody can buy them. We're still at 10%, but Harkonnens are... Okay, I gotta, I gotta go for... He's gonna start skyrocketing. He's gonna go bananas. But I do have a lot of special regions, so um, we're gonna be pretty tyrannical in that regard. Alright, uh, so let's see how that went. Yes, perfect. So the chome prices are, are steeper now, which is really good. That's mega clutch for us. That's very good. All right. So Sardaukar, let's fly you guys down here. Have them go do this. Um, I like to make my Sardaukar very tanky. So you should get the armor and the max HP. And I just have them be my frontline tanks. Um, and then the DPS can come through your other units, usually. All right. So what else do we want to get here? Um, I guess we're just going to throw some random buildings there. No problem. Sardaukar of taking care of the peasants, rebelling against us, reveal a siege. The siege is quite good. We need to get somebody in that siege like ASAP. So let's go here, go to the siege. Ah, 95. Okay, we're almost friends with them. Almost. Okay, so we leave you for the siege. Sardaukar have done it. boy. Good job, lads. Oh, man. Are we going to go for the, the dub? Just go hard in the paint? Nobody's even close to us. Looks like a little bit of a border skirmish going on over there. But we have so many special regions, guys. We could just go ape shit on the hedge. Like, when it gets close, we are gonna we're just gonna be flying, flying in, in there. It's gonna be nuts. Alright, 98, and then we get 20% reduction on all building upkeep, which is so good. And our knowledge currently is 35. Like, I feel like we're really powerful. Like, not like inherently like super wealthy or anything. But um, yeah, we're 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 good in other ways. See, that just gave us, so, that just like bumped our income so hard. Oh, it's so nice. We salute our emperor. All right, so let's, yeah, siege drones are pretty damn OP, so we want to get some of those. But Kronos and um, get one more Sardaukar for now. We'll, we're going to see a Harkonnen push coming, you know? The Trades are, like, none of them are really fighting, which is a little bit concerning. Um, Speaker of the Council. All factions gain ch chome shares. See, I don't want that. That's for damn sure. Missile turrets here are defending well. Um, we have easy flight routes down there. Okay, looks good to me. Looks good. And do we want to start trading with this one? Water for Solari? Sure, why not? We have a shit ton of water, so I think we're fine. Um, all right, so fuel cells. Yes, um, we're going to need an airfield there too because the Fremen are going to come for that one, like 100%. Harvesters, do we have more manpower for either of them? No. Spice field down there is close. And we have another special region, dude. We, If we time it correctly, we are gonna just shoot up so fast in that resource that if they don't respond immediately, but the problem is we're gonna appear on the, the score sheet like really quickly. Um, Harkonnens are at 25%. Yeah, you see, he's creeping up. He's, he's, he's getting there. Makes me think like, I need to just pull the trigger and go. That's that's how I'm starting to feel. All right, let's get rid of these water buildings. We have enough water. And uh, we need to make sure that we can just launch our haggard operation as soon as possible. All right. Main base building. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, just we have we have the money, so we'll get that. Speaker of the council. Atreides, if I, if I 
I could work some political machinations where we give Atreides governorship, we like support them, and then everyone's going to kill them, and I could like sneak a hedge win in behind that, right? That feels pretty good. All right, let's get the border defense upgrades. Those are nice. Harkonnen's getting a little bit crazy down here. All right, we're not going to let him take that. Um, that's for damn sure. We got to we got to we got to stop this in its tracks. I think we're already at peace with them. So, do we go fight that? Can we even win it? I think we can. So, let's get some upgrades for our range units. We'll get the shotguns and then we'll get the uh yeah, power for each conscript nearby. No, 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 buddy. You're not getting this. We're taking this base back. And uh, let's go ahead and liberate that. Yeah, and Kronos is going to be on its way down. We're going to get a thumper. We can't let him set up on our borders. That's just like all bad news bears. Uh, all right, so the hedge is good. Fremen are closing in on us, which is great. Because we can get hedge faster than them if we just pop off with all of our techs and stuff. Um, all right, let's get another fuel cell there. We're getting all the border defense upgrades and we can grab this legendary spice field too if we want to. Um, yeah, Speaker of the Council is, is too strong on Atreides. We have to decline that with everything we have. Okay, let's get some siege drones because they're just stupid OP if you use them correctly, which I probably won't. Harkonnen base, uh, he might come back and try and try and fight us here. I'm not sure. Oh, Fremen, Fremen are raiding him on the other side. Nice. He's going to be losing two territories. Um, yes. Uh, he's, he's calling it out, but this is where we push him. The Fremen look like they're trying to liberate some of the lands. Um, is there anything here we're going to do? Okay. Looking up here. Is there any... Oh, that's right. Freaking maintenance centers. Oh, my God. I, I've just been blanking on that. Okay, that's going to make us a ton of money, too. I knew something was off this game. You know, something was a little bit funny. We got 272. We can we can do Crouching Tiger, whatever, Hidden Dragon right now. Okay, so I'm going to keep pushing back the Harkonnens because the Fremen are beating them up, too. Uh, what's his Chum right now? His Chum's at 25%. Okay. Let's do this. Um, let's get an airfield up here. Looking good. We could hit the siege if we want to, but that's going to be nice. We just took away a decent region. You can't let Atreides get Speaker of the Council, I agree. Okay, so what we can do... Well, the reason why I love Kronos, it's so cool. So we can fly Kronos down here and then dropship our uh, army in in a moment. Fremen taking some nice territory. Yeah, they're, they're getting this one. But uh, we do have the border defenses coming. So now we can get the maintenance center. So let's slap this down here. Should have had this in a couple different regions. And um, let's go ahead and get this uh, here. And we'll get the special region uh, right here. So we'll get the maintenance center. All right. So that's going to give us a lot of money. So flying over. I could lose my army here, but he's definitely the next biggest threat. Um, let's fly down. And our airfield is up. <laughs> you see, just that little action forced like an agent response from him, which is good. So now we can just fly a little bit deeper in. Go down here. Is it moving? No, oh, that's right. We are uh, going to get out of here. Yeah, it's good. I didn't want to fly into the mouth of a worm. Um, and it looks like he's got a big flyer too. He's got his overlord, so I'm just gonna peace out. As long as he's not next to us, we're we're okay. Um, Fremen are yeah, this is good. We're playing it we're playing it appropriately. The Fremen are catching up to us on hedge, which is great. Um, we're getting the defense upgrades. We have an airfield here, which is good, and um, yes, our income is solid. Other techs, let's get the orbital strike just in case we start to lose a fight. I really want to get the spice field, but it's going to make us awfully close to the uh, next amount. Yeah, like if you had gone, if I had gone all in on hedge, right? Yeah, but the Fremen are just right up on our borders. Atreides won't be able to do anything to us. It basically becomes a 2v1, which is not easy. That's for damn sure. Like we could lose this base hardcore. Um, so yeah, let's get that. Let's get all these upgrades. We just have to monitor the Fremen closely. 
the water, the middle is going to get taken, but we have another special region. We can literally just get like, you know, a million buildings here. Um, Harkonnens, I don't feel like losing my army in their territory. Yes, I might be able to win, but yeah, they're going to be, is he choming it again? Oh, he's down to 23%. You know what? Let's buy a little bit of chum ourselves just to like make it harder for him. Okay, Water Sellers Union. Um, all factions suffer spice penalty. Middle is being taken by a Renegade base. And it looks like a Fremen Mercenary is coming over here. He's just grabbing that. Okay, he's just grabbing that neutral uh, thing there. All right, let's reveal a siege. Steamroll that army. And we need to get um, more upgrades. So for our troopers, let's just get tanky upgrades and um, power per nearby conscripts. Because we have a lot of conscripts. We have a good amount of Sardaukar. I mean, base buildings are fine. This, this We screwed up the, the layout of this. It should have been these two here, but um, overall it's fine. Judge of the Council and I of the Council. Yeah, so he's got the two extra agents. Come on, Fremen. I need you to pass me and hedge. I need you to pass me, Fremen. The Harkonnen are kind of playing possum too. But he did lose a base and also is in conflict with the Fremen. He has like no special regions also. Looks like one of his regions is rebelling at this moment, which is normal for those guys. Border defense is coming. And once that's done, our turrets will be very strong. Come on, Fremen. I need you guys to pass me. I need to grab one of these bases. There's not really much for them to grab. Maybe they'll grab the middle. Who knows? Yeah, with Carino, you got to be really careful though. Because you can become arch enemy really quickly if you... Um, if you go to bananas. All right, we got the extra militia spot. So let's sauce up all the heavy militia everywhere in all the important regions. Important, yes, yes. And yeah, we could start destroying Plascrete, although I kind of want to have a little excess to make sure we, um, yeah, that, that region's giving us a ton of dough also. So I have a non-aggression with these two, just not with the Harkonnens. Could go down here and attack the Harkonnens, but I feel like they're not that strong outside of the Chome game. Yeah, 23. Because if I go after them and then the Fremen backstab my base, I am in debt. I'm dead, basically. I'm just toast. So I, I, you really don't want to lose your bases as the Imperials because you lose like those special buildings forever, which shucks really bad. All right. So once we get an excess of authority, we'll grab another special region. Um, this one probably... Yeah, this spice one is nice too. It's a little bit off kind of center there. Fremen are around. I don't see what Atreides are up to. Yeah, they're they're passing me in hedge. I believe the Fremen have hedge workshops. Let's see. No, they don't actually. Not here. And now the vote is up. So Water Sellers Union. Do we have any chance of winning this for ourselves? It doesn't look like it. That would be insane. We would just it would just be busted. Uh, this one has Harkonnen taint on it. Which, whoever gets that. House Harkonnen is immune to that. I don't mind tanking my Landsrad standing a little bit to get this. But all factions suffer spice. Yeah, and this is what? In declining this resolution? Ooh, that's that's a lot of money, guys. That's a hell of a lot of money. Um, all right, so let's do that. And then we want to decline this too. And try and keep, keep him off it. All right, Fremen. I need you to get that middle. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Get that middle. Jump ahead of me in hegemony, and then I can just creep. Okay, so, man, if I grab one of these, at 20k is when the alarm sounds. That's when everybody's going to be like, oh, God. Um, we could also do this. So we can go House Carino. So when enemy military units are in our territory, they lose influence, which wouldn't be terrible. And let's go grab the Spice Field here. I think it's time, you know, like, it's that, it's that cr crunch moment where, you know, everybody's going to be going bananas, right? So... Let's go ahead and cut the um, the water and the water. We have good enough water, like to, you know, regardless of the circumstances. So we're gonna start slapping down craft workshops now. So we need to go to all of our special regions and just go bananas. And this is when we, uh, we, we unleash our evil, our final form. How's that looking? Do we get that? We do. Okay, so we're, we're, going, we're going for the kill now. I don't know if, I don't wanna wait too long and lose cause you know. That could for sure happen. Um, any other traits we have, interdiction zone, and um, we can slap you down on Fremen. Information. So this is gonna put us just below 20, and then we're gonna start launching, like skyrocketing. That hedge will just fly. Um, fly like an eagle. It's gonna be flying pretty hard. 
is all I'm, all I'm gonna say here. Okay, so we got the great convention watchers. Okay, unfortunately the timing of that was not perfect. Um, but you know what? We're, uh, we're going hard. So we're gonna leave Kronos down here. So I have an airfield there until it's secure. And we're gonna go double hedge on all these regions and just uh, just go, go crazy. We're about to get the uh, final border defenses. Um, yeah, see, he's he's calling he's calling the shots now, which is is the correct play for sure. Um, yeah, did we do that? Cool. Let's clear that out. I just need to win a couple fights versus these guys. He says I'm somewhat blocked in. See, that's that's part of the idea here for sure. Um, we have the double missile turret. This region, for some reason, does not have the security. Let's get the craft workshop. Good. Um, we do not have an airfield right there. That is unfortunate. Let's cut this and we can get you. Cut the maintenance center. It's going to hurt our eco a little bit, but it's, ooh, that's a big eco punishment actually, Jesus. All right, so we can get military base there is what I wanted. All right. Elite of the Imperium at your service. Starter car, so heavy metal. All right, so we're going to get attacked here. He is switching into hegemony. Yeah, see he's watching. Look at you, Mr. Chome. We have to politic here. Okay, so we need to come down here and crush this Harkonnen army. <laughs> Easier said than done, that's for damn sure. It doesn't look that good. Maybe it is, I don't know. Alright, we get the craft workshop. Let's attack these bad boys. We got the drone set up here. And uh, we're going to try and do battle. Alright. So let's do this. And these guys need to start fighting. Looking good. Drop the missile strike behind them. Ay ay ay. See this is this is getting real crunk here. Yeah, we might be able to beat the Harkonnens, I don't know. Our military is, looks like it's hanging in there. But we need to build more units, okay. Ooh, I have no idea how this fight's going. It's hard to tell. Alright, we need to get on some of the range units there if we can. The Sardaukar should start so should start doing some executions. Um it looks like the Fremen did clear that off. Well played to them. Um and did we drive back the Harkonnens? I think we did. I think we beat the Harkonnen army. That's great. Alright, outstanding. So we need to go here. Get a couple of you guys going here. Um, get the drones to shoot this. And now the Fremen are going to lose all their political influence. Um, yeah. Ooh, boy. Yeah, so that region's going to be taken from us. And this region, we need to get the hedge workshop here. How did that actually end up going? Oh, man, it was hard to tell. Absolutely hard to tell. We can buy mercenaries, but we need to get the, um, the these these techs right now. We got to go, go down that way. Fremen probably just get that. We do have this. Um, that talk about a close fight, geez. All right, so that will slow them down for sure. Let's get a missile turret here. Harkonnen's gonna take a hot minute to rebuild, I'm sure. Let's grab some mercs. If we can go over there and fend them off, that's gonna be pretty big. Granted, it probably won't happen until the missile strike is ready. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that was a, that was a, a ferocious battle. Okay, so let's grab some uh, starter car and some mercenaries. I need parallel training. But he's going to be getting there pretty soon, and I'm, I'm going to get knocked back. Alright, so let's grab you guys. If we can creep over here and maybe stop this, that's going to be pretty fat. But we we definitely got greedy, maybe a little bit too early. But we're going to lose several territories, but hopefully, uh, you know, we can hold for a time. How many missile turrets do we have here? None yet, that sucks. Okay, so we're going to lose that. Okay, so the missile strike is ready. You get a little ambush from the hills. Okay. Yeah, we need more training slots. That's a it's a problem that we don't have that. 100%. All right, so he's trying to cheese the militia, but they're just going to unfortunately keep bouncing back and forth. Okay, so... You know, maybe we just take this. Like, yeah, be like, yeah, man, you got us. We're going we're gonna to lose that territory. And we go secure the bottom. The funny thing is they're all losing influence while they're attacking us. It's pretty hilarious. Okay, so the Harkonnens are coming back. Let's get some more mercs. Let's do this. And outstanding. So let's shuttle down here. We have the military to handle it. We can definitely do some orbital strikes. So let's get you guys. Um, is there any sense in that? Not really. He just got my special. Yeah, so the Fremen have done their part. The, the Atreides just took this region, that's so funny. 
Okay, politics, judge of the council. Uh, let's go ahead and decline that. Yes, outstanding. And special agents, we don't have any spots at the moment. Looks fine. And now we have a moment before we need to react to this. We have a we have just a moment. We have a lot of Sardaukar. We have a lot of those guys. The Fremen are on our borders looking pretty crazy. Um, let's just grab whatever regions we can at this point. Just grab, you know, these. Although, we probably need to salvage that. That's a really nice one there. Okay, we're about to get some more. We have a little bit of time. It's mainly just, yeah, it's executioners. They're good units, for sure. Um, we're at a fuel cell deficit, which sucks. So, we need to delete one of our special buildings right now, which will be this one. So we delete that, and then we can go ahead and get a maintenance center, which I believe we already have here, but might help some of the nearby regions. Okay. So Fremen took this from us. The flamethrower guy is almost back. Let's go ahead and shuttle over here. The Atreides sniping that random ass base in my territory is pretty hilarious, for sure. Let's get an airfield here. And, um... Cool. So then we come down and we just we try and party and stop him. He might drop a worm on us here, which wouldn't be a bad play by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. And let's see what we can do. Kill all these. Get the Sardaukar in there. Now we're hanging in. If only I had the worm drop. That would be really nice. Alright. So Sardaukar execute that bad boy. We're slowing down the old cap. Let's pull you guys back. He's going to dive those, and he's going to dive these, too. All right, let's get the starter car to dive these, and you guys to uh, drop a missile strike here. Pull back to the main base, and we have the assassins. Let's pull those assassins down here. Starter car have killed all of his range units, which is great. And now he's in our main base, so he's going to lose a fair amount of those. Okay, so unassigned agent. We don't really have anywhere to assign them, do we? And uh, now we have this uh, training slots. So that's exactly what we need. All right, we got the execute. Most of the range units are down for the count, and he's losing several of the executioners. But the Fremen descent is uh, raining havoc in my lands. So we could do a worm drop. Is there any reason to do a worm drop here? I don't think so. Yeah, so he's going to take that special region. This is actually okay in some ways. It's going gonna, it's gonna to set me, slow me down. Okay, so assassin... Assassin. Let's actually keep these assassins alive. Let's, uh, we can pop this guy, which is going to be really funny if it works, and we'll get you. We'll get you. Um, Fremen are probably on their own tangent now. I need to deal with these damn rebellions, though. Jeez, it's, it's ruining my economy. Here comes the assassin. Did we get him? We did. That's funny. Oh, unfortunately, he's still got some guys there. Yeah, we don't have the manpower to stop him, so we just got to stabilize our lands. Uh-oh, the Atreides have landed. Jeez. Okay, well, this is interesting. I'm about to fall off in terms of power pretty hard. Let's go stabilize our regions. Um, and yeah, now Fremen are going to creep up on us. Not a big threat anymore, Atreides. Let's see if they decide to stay, though. They might. Unfortunately, I can't Sandworm here, which is too bad. All right, so we got the main base protection. Frem ahead. Good. This is like good timing for the Frem to pass me. Um, all factions suffer. Yeah, that's actually good. Are the Sardaukar struggling there? It looks like they're... I don't have too much DPS nearby. Okay, we need to get a little bit of deeps. Frem will just take a regions. I'm trying to politic my way out of this right now. It certainly ain't easy. The Atreides have left. I need to destroy the airfield. It's pretty hard for them to attack me here, for sure. But maybe they're going to go for it. I don't know. We'll see. Go for, like, a main base attack or something? Hmm. Could be interesting. All right. Let's shuttle down here. Behind the base. Surprised he's going to go for it. He's going for broke. The Fremen might actually jump ahead, legitimately. Um, let's go ahead and get Mercs. Rapid fire train those bad boys. He's trying to get a little DPS on my base. Let's go ahead and shuttle down here. And shuttle. He's taking some damage, but I could lose this main base here, 100%. The Sardaukar need to get down here. Screw the rebellion, man. We need you boys here, helping us out. Uh, let's go ahead and worm any reinforcements in. Is there any point? 
Ooh, can we get him off is the question. We're going to have to just defend this like tooth and nail later on. All right, so maybe we get his army off here. We're trying, but yeah, losing this main base is going to suck pretty bad. That's really going to set us into the pits because we're going to lose all of our military development techs um, that we have. So we're going to lose a lot of a lot of damage. And we might need to restructure our main base after this. All right, so the Imperial base has fallen. We're going to push the army back. And now I am pretty just far behind. But, you know, it's it's the it's a risky run, you know, playing playing like I did. Okay, boys, come on. Uh, so what do we want to restructure in the main base? No, we have the military attack at the main base. Okay, we're fine. We still have our, our DPS, which is the most important thing here late game. Uh, all right, let's get some mercs. Yeah, we need those bad boys. And um, let's deploy that. And just grab our nearby regions. We have a lot of authority banked up. Okay, cool. So we're still alive. You know, that's the that's the important part after being swarmed like that. We're still we're still in it. We're we're not dead. They didn't come to my base to just finish me. So let's grab this. We still have a really good daily hedge. But the Fremen being ahead of us is, is awesome and the Harkonnen actually being ahead of us is even better. He's probably uh yeah, he's Harks at uh thirty K chum dudes. We're gonna have to deal with that. We are gonna have to deal with that. Alright. So politics, speaker of the council. Uh, do we have any way of getting that for ourselves? The elected faction gains. So let's do Harkonnens. Do that. Outstanding. And then we just need to grab these regions. Okay, so deploy. It's a good thing the Atreides didn't like decide to go ham on us. You know, that could have been a disaster. That could have been an absolute disaster. Okay. Get some conscripts. Decline Speaker of the Council. I kind of want to let them have it a little bit. Although the Harkonnens have enough influence. So I'm going to vote the Harks for this and then I'll also decline this with uh, a little bit. Alright, so let's just grab some regions here. Um, yeah, unfortunately, they did take a lot from us. It's going to be hard. His military is probably better. The, the Fremen screwed me up too. I probably could have fought the Harks off one-on-one, -on -one, but when the Fremen, I had to use resources to try and fight them off. And this region's going to be takeable again. Oh, he didn't actually take that. Okay, that's great. That's really good. Okay, we're still creeping under the radar. The Atreides base here, maybe the rebels will um, get it down. Are we at war with him? We are. So we could actually go in and just take the airfield so we can't fly over there anymore. So that was a really cheeky play. That was a really smooth play here by um, Knight of Squires. I like that a lot. Okay, we just need to like use our resources though, you know? Um, all right, so we have you on a harvester. Which one of our harvesters is not being watched? It's that one. Okay. Then this and this. Okay. Can just get you two. Do this, cut you guys down, and boom. So what does this region have? Plascrete and water. So basically, we just need to get things that are moderately helpful, like intel, whatever, that sort of thing. Um, all right, so he's building a knowledge building there. I could go and snipe the airfield, but his army could fly over. Harkonnens are on the way. Okay, so let's cut off the reinforcements. And we have to try and defend this. It's not going to be easy, but we really uh, we really need need to hold this. Okay, so he's not going to be able to get too many reinforcements in. You can see our militia are holding pretty firm. Okay, so let's stay on this train. Let's get these guys, these drones, to set up shop here. And um, we can install them like so, boom. And they should be able to cover us here adequately well. Yeah, they'll kill those things, no problem. The worm kind of was a misplay for sure, the Shai Halud. I thought he would have more reinforcements coming in. All right, so he's got some dudes there. I guess he hasn't decided what he wants to do with it yet. No, no, bad, 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 bad. The ruins of the old Imperial base Okay, so that's going to finish in a second. Oh, he's still fighting the militia there. Oh, he's just destroying the hedge buildings. That's fine. Okay, so we can go north and grab this one too. I don't even remember. That was our big income region, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That was it was a pretty hot one. It was it was nice while it lasted for sure. Okay, um, we have the Imperial Protocols coming. The missile strikes on the way. And uh, let's get down and try and fend off this Hark army. It's pretty good quality though. Uh, what upgrades can we get on this? So power and um, destroying armor is always good. And this one is range, I think. Yeah, looks good. So we're going to move in. 
Get these bad boys set up. Try and fight him here. He's going to have better combat utility than us for sure. Yeah, he's got those battle drugs and stuff. He's going to snipe the drones, but he's going to lose a lot of units in doing it. Yeah, you can see his army's taking a lot of damage. All right, let's drop the missile strikes here. And uh, yeah, we just kite with the drones. Yeah, most of his army's actually gone now. You can see he dove, but it cost him everything. And I can just rebuild those, I think. So cool. So Sardaukar doing work. Um, we might win this. It's kind of hard to tell. We could do a missile strike here. Someone dropped a worm here. I, I think that's actually just a legitimate Shai Halud coming. He's about to run out of supplies if we lure him here. See, all this whole army's going to die. So we lured him to this side, and um, he's going to get supply killed here. Then we just run down and maybe recap that. I don't know if it's possible. Um, are we being attacked from anywhere else? I don't know. The Shai Halud is... Oh, he got a supply drop off. Nice. Well played. All right, so do we have more reinforcements? We do, so let's uh, get you guys. Kronos needs to come down here and do a dropship. And we need to dropship into that region. All right, so that's good. Let's get you guys and um, dropship. Nope, wrong button. Okay, and do this. And let's shuttle on over. Great. So we'll see if we can salvage that region. It's, it's, it's possible. We might get there in time. Yeah, we did, perfect. Okay, yeah, that was good, we, we got him. Hell yeah, dude. We're going to get some troopers there now, and we're going to maintain that region, which is huge. All right, so let's finish you off. We'll rebuild that. The Fremen have gone ahead of us, so um, let's get you guys, and we need more Sardaukar and some conscripts too. That was a good hold. That was fortunate. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, Hedge Workshop. We're going to need that. Um, is there anything we want to buy? Yeah, Harkonnen's got 30% hedge, which makes their military very strong. Like, very, very strong. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we got the special region coming in. We have the siege drones. We have the power! Yeah, I think he's just mispathing there. I'm not sure if it's a mistake or not, but we'll, we'll capitalize on that. Then we go grab that, and that's like our chance of jumping up. Yeah, hey, he's going to lose an executioner here. Okay, um, yes, let's take that little eco boost. We got a free executioner. Um, so the Atreides just laughing at us there. I love that they took that. That's so funny. So we're going to need missile turrets here soon. The militia will be back. Okay, so we're going to have a big, big Sardaukar army, but we need um, some basic troopers with the shotguns too. The shotguns are pretty good against the Harkonnen rush like that. And we need to watch more carefully. I also need to be grabbing things on the map if we can. All right, let's take that. You guys grab this. Um, Fremen threatening a win too is great. This is perfect. Yeah, they're taking stuff from the uh, from the uh, from their neighbors there. All right, team. Let's uh, cut this now. It's not super useful anymore. Politics, governorship. Uh, we need to decline the hell out of that. Okay, so. I'm going to gear regulations the Harkonnen. It's a little risky. I'm going to slap that base there, and then I'm going to decline this with the rest. All right, so let's get the Hedge Workshop. And um, we are going to sneak over here and grab this too. Yeah, the Fremen seem like they're busy with the Atreides. Man, he's, he's, he's still going hard for that, huh? Okay. Okay, we need to worm that so we can't get there. We're grabbing this. We don't have the Imperial base down there. That's right. I was like, it's like, wait a second. Holy shit. Oh, he got assassinated. Damn. Look at that, dude. So he's going to get partially shy halluted if he tries to roll up here, I think. Fremen are going to probably run away with the game if, uh, if the shy halluding... If he's allowed to just do his go to his own devices over there. But we'll see. Alright, so let's get you, get Intel building. That's usually just the ones you want to spam in the late game if you have if you have the option. Um, we don't want to lose this. But we have a good army. It's like very strong. Harks are at 35%. Man, that's brutal. I don't think there's any point in buying chome shares anymore. Hmm. Fremen are gonna have their full say of the map now, which is very scary. I'm basically locked in Mortal Kombat with the Harkonnens. Did gear regulations go off on them yet? Not yet, but it's going to in zero days. Okay, so yeah, we are just putting all of our votes into uh, these guys. He's probably gonna vote me, and then I'm just I'm just like doomed. 
Yeah, if that happens, an enemy operation uh, decoy thumper. Okay, so he decoy thumpered too, which is fine. It's very clever. Who got the gear regs? Oh, perfect. Okay, that's really big. Um, from from grabbing map now. I need to I need to get this. Okay, so that's gonna last for how much longer? A little bit. Okay. So we come down this way. I wouldn't even be upset with the Fremen win. That'd be pretty cool. It's, they're not hard, easy to play. So mad respect there, for sure. Let's get some water in this region. Okay, let's set up shop here. And we can install. Alright, so he's coming at me. He's charging my drones, but he's blocked up. A lot of his units are, are just getting wrecked. That's that's great. If we can somehow... Oh, he, he moved off, did he? Yes. I can move you here. I'm surprised. Yeah, the gear regulation is making a big difference there. That was really huge. Um, and also, he's not capping this at the moment. Wow, we just bashed the hell out of his army there. Jeez. Okay, so he's got some reinforcements coming in, but that was an absolute cleaving. <laughs> I suspect the Fremen are going to win. Yeah, we need to deal with them. I don't know if the Harkonnen guy is going to listen to me, but probably not. <laughs> he seems pretty hellbent on trying to kill me, which is certainly not super easy to kill the Emperor. Okay. We got to deal with the Fremen now. Hopefully he notices this and realizes it. Um, the Fremen don't have as good passive hedge as me, though. That's the one advantage I have for sure. All right. So let's take that down. If we can get his mothership down, that's going to be pretty sweet. All right, let's get you. Let's go ahead and get this. And uh, yeah, we're getting some good DPS on that bad boy. Unfortunately, the Fremen got that special region, which is super nice. If I can get this one soon, though, too, that's going to be huge. Okay, so politics. Um, Water Sellers Union is fine. And the big mothership here. Let's get you back. We have the missile strikes. We don't, sadly. That one's pretty good. It gives two armor to all your troopers. All right, so we're not going to kill his big mothership, obviously. Is there any territories I can grab? Yeah, this one's this one's up for grabs now. This is going to be a really tight game. It's going to be really close. All right, let's get some incinerators. Uh, I keep forgetting to get the upgrades for them. They have some good upgrades, actually. Napalm is quite good, and then um, destroying armor is also good. He said, okay, let's kill Fremen. Yes, good, good. This is exactly what I want, for sure. Sounds good. And this is also what I feel happens all the time with the, um, with the what's it called? With the Harkonnens is like you're powerful and rich, but you just like the wind con kind of eludes you at times. I suppose that's also lore accurate, you know? <laughs> uh, let's cut, we're, we're way too heavy on Sardaukar. They're really expensive. Um, okay. He's going to try and worm it. He's going to try and worm his way in. Need to get an airfield down there. I do have the passive hedge advantage. I could probably just race him, honestly. Yeah. So the Baron is attacking in the middle, and this is where I cackle in the dark. I cackle in however the Emperor cackles. You know, whatever he would laugh like is how I'm going to laugh right now. Um, oh, oh, God, yes. Give me that non-aggression pact. Oh, yeah, dude. Sign me up for that shit. And then I just grab these special regions, and I, I can potentially win. You want he wants Sards? Okay, I can give him Sardaukar. What do you? We're gonna give the Baron Sardaukar to go attack the Fremen. Yeah, how's the flavor on that? Harkonnen at forty percent show him. Oh boy, I better buy to try and control him. We're about to get another special region, man, and uh, you know then the race is on. Oh my God, the Chome shares. This is so tight. He might be able to just blitz us. Well, how much money does he have? 14k? Holy shit. Oh, man. Okay, he might get it on, on that. This is going to be a really tight game. The Fremen are moving on him. I'm grabbing a special region. Um, and then I can go grab this, too. And that's going to shoot me up. So that's basically what we do. The Fremen probably won't... Yeah, I think the, the Harkonnen will beat them. Okay. So let's get all you guys. And then we need to just slap the special region down here. 
And uh, we want missile turrets. And um, go. Hustle, minions. All right, let's get Kronos up there to grab that. We're at 26k, dude. Oh, man, and he's he's racing us in Chome, too. I think I can beat the Fremen on the passive income, though. Um, that's my, my hope and dream here. Energy efficiency is coming. Okay, so we might want to just... Is there any airfields up there? No. Is there any idle regions around here I can take? My dead Imperial base, sadly, uh, is not ideal. But we could just capture this from the Fremen, and that would pretty much just win it for us, right? If we do that, yeah. So let's send Kronos up here as a tertiary option. And then we come over here and grab this. Harkonnens are charging the, the shares. I'm going to just buy to try and keep them down. And cool. That's almost done. That's almost done. And let's hit this Fremen base here. Harkonnens are going pretty bananas too, but I think I get I think I get this. I think I do. Alright, Kronos. Let's go, baby. Take that region. Missile turret. Head shite's about to finish. He's at 27k. We're pushing here. We've we've managed to weasel our way into that spot that like every um, Carino player wants to be in. You know, I'm actually going to keep his buildings here because they're quite good. All right, let's get you guys back. And um, the guild fees are due soon. Oh shit, we better stockpile. I don't want to miss those. All right, so let's get another missile turret. Um, probably could get a military factory at this point. All right, let's get a workshop. And. Um, He's at 43%. If I get this, I think I just win, though. That's what I think they're not realizing here. All right, so let's drop a worm here. He might Shai Halud his way in. Okay, so the Shai Haluding has gone down on both sides. 295 for that. So, yeah, we're pretty much all in on this space here. If we get this, then we win. Second region's going. Harkonnens are not in a position to really do much against us. Ooh, the, the, the Fremen descent is really, really timely, actually. Why are you pausing? That's... <laughs> yeah, right? He's like, misclick pause. <laughs> that was not a misclick, dude. Look at him. All right, so let's build some of these. And uh, we need to go free these bases. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, what's going on with pathing here? Okay. That was weird. It's like gotten, it's like the UI is freaking out. It's obviously, I misclicked on something, but... Okay, so we're trying to free up these bases. We have that one, which we could always emergency jump over to. Um, those, those guys are doing great. I don't know, what's going on with this clicking right now? Man, okay, I gotta, I gotta chill out. We're pretty close to capping it. Scavenger teams are at the ready. Hopefully we can liberate this region, get some water flow back. Can we lure you guys to the main base? That Fremen descent really screwed me up, actually. It's uh, like I have no water right now. What is the penalty for water? Yeah, no supply regeneration. Yeah, it could be worse. Could be worse. Yeah, we got a rebellion down here, too. If we get this... Oh, man, we're close, but the Fremen are close, too. Look at them. Oh, man, they just got knocked down on hedge. Wow. What a, what a race we've got on our hands, huh? All right, let's get some water here, and uh, we can just get water here, too. Screw it. Screw it. The poor Harkonnen player is, like, having to hustle all over the battlefield to try and, try and you know, save his game. Come on, baby. Give me that region. Look, look. They're all coming. But I have my nice little Helm's Deep on the hill, so. All right. Did we get it? Okay, we're at 29k now. Uh, we do have a missile turret here, which is great. All right, and our siege drones are up on the hills, which is good. Consolidation. Do that, get some armor. Alright, we gotta deal with this damn Fremen descent. It's like trolling me so hard. Ugh. Okay, we're in the red. Okay, so I need to go sell some shares. Uh, sell some shares. Okay, we're selling some shares. This region looks like it's gonna flip on us, unfortunately. I don't think they're allied though, so they're kind of struggling here. Alright, so let's just get some, um, some Sardaukar. Yes, please. Did we get this region back from the Fremen? From the uh, Fremen insurrection? So we basically just need our passive hedge to hold on now. Kronos needs to come back. Um, we got a turret here. We got water coming in. Water, it's what plants crave. Shouldn't have left Kronos up there. Should have brought it down here. He's going for the main base. Interesting. He might be able to get us here. If he has administrative burden, for sure. 
he could he could potentially kill us. Yeah, my god. He's just charging it, dude. He's just going going for broke here. We're about to have a lot of Sardaukar pop out, though. Um, this region here. Make another missile turret. We have the passive hedge. I mean, we're pretty close to it, but we die if he gets this. Okay, Sardaukar are about to pop out. And Kronos was up there thinking about stealing that uh, that northernmost region. All right, let's get water so we don't run out again. Uh, worst case, and we can get water here. All right, great. Come on, Sardaukar. Fight! Clear them off! Oh, man, he's doing a lot of damage. Um, all right. I don't know if we're going to be able to stop him here. It's going to be tight. Oh, God, we just need, like, one more, like, little delivery of resources, and we get it. Oh, come on. Revan kill his main base. He's like shouting and shit. Okay, come on, boys. Hold for the emperor. All right, assassin, kill that guy. Go, go, go. Oh, I don't have ten percent shares anymore, so I can't buy the mercs. Oh my god, I think we held. I think we got it just barely. Okay, what do we got on the bottom here and here? Uh, we need to kill these little drones because they're the ones that actually deal the damage, right? Oh god, the Fremen have arrived. Oh no! <laughs> Missile turret! Okay, it's not that many of them. We're still fighting them off. Oh dear god. Come on, just give it to me! No! <laughs> he got the chum! GG, well played! What a great game! Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was a really proper scrap, man. Really, really proper scrap. I don't think there's much we could have done to maybe avoid that. Um... Yeah, no, not really. He just had the chum and I didn't have the money. So well played, man. Good Harkonnen victory, good chum victory. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let's uh, take a look at the breakdown, I guess. View summary. Yeah, he got to the 50%. Dude, we were so close. Oh my God, we were like 200 away. We were like two days away from winning that. Well played, man, great game. That was super fun. And uh, if you guys wanna see more Dune, let me know. I'll do my best. Appreciate you all, cheers.